Long days out there on your bike can easily be ruined when you're experiencing numbness, pain, and a lot of discomfort. One good thing is having a saddle where you can get in there, have a great time, not experience any of those ill effects, and just focus on riding your bike. That's why we here at Jensen USA decided to do a video on our top 10 picks for saddles to get you out there, keep you pedaling, and having a great time. What's up everyone, Mark here from Jensen USA to bring you another excellent video to get you out there and keep you pedaling. In this today's video, we're gonna go over, like I just mentioned, the top 10 picks here at Jensen USA for saddles and why you might want this over another one. Some of this has to do with what your sit bone width is and you might be wondering what sit bone width, well check it out. If you go on the internet, do a nice Google search, you'll be able to figure out what your sit bone width is, typically revolves around sitting on some cardboard, measuring some couple points, and then figuring out exactly where those pressure points are when you're out there on your bike. Once you kind of get that dialed in, you'll want to figure out what seat fits that kind of comfort that you're in. So we've gone with top 10 picks here at Jensen. Each of these meet different comfort standards, different efficiencies when it comes to pedaling, different materials, and different price ranges. So sit back, we're going to break down each one and see which one's going to fit for you. All right, for our first saddle, we thought we'd go with what we believe is one of the best all around saddles you can get out there. And this is the SDG Bel Air. Now this is the Lux version in alloy. Now this saddle has been basically a, a staple in the cycling industry for over a decade now. SDG knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to this. Now this right here has a one piece sonic welded upper. So you're not going to get any seams in there. They're not going to cause any discomfort. It's got a nice EVA foam going on here with a free float comfort flex is what they call it. Now this is a nylon glass base. So you're getting a lot of flexibility there. But if you see here closely, you can see the upsweep in the rear, which is just gonna give you a little more pedal efficiency when you're out there on the bike. This saddle is definitely gonna be designed for that all around type of riding, whether you're out there on the trail, hitting the bike park, just cruising around, you're gonna get everything you need out of this saddle because it just kind of fits all of those standards that you need when it comes to riding your bike. So if you're looking for that all around comfort, you know you can trust a saddle that's been tried and true for over a decade, the SDG Bel Air is probably the saddle. All right, next up in the list here is we got the Ergon SM comp saddle here. Now I personally run an Ergon on my bike. I really like the way it fits. I feel like Ergon is designed really for those who struggle to sit in the saddle for a long period of time, typically experience a lot of discomfort when they're riding. So all of their design features here in this saddle are really like there anatomically for you to get out there, have a good time and not be thinking about being uncomfortable on your bike. So it's a typical Y shape here. We're gonna see on this saddle, it has an ortho foam for a little bit more density when you're kind of sitting there. If you're a heftier guy like myself, you know, saddle's not a lot of cushion there, you're gonna experience that over a long period of time. They got a nice here relief channel, um, and they're also tuned for both men and women. So, you know, you can basically pick a saddle that has been designed for you uh, in that sense. It has a microfiber cover, so you're not gonna get any smelliness on the saddle. It's not gonna hold a lot of moisture. It's a nice, comfortable saddle. It's also got the upturn here for power efficiency and pedal power and a nice nose drop off here for when you're really getting down so you have a lot of freedom of movement when you're out there on the bike. So if you're looking for something with a little more enhanced comfort, maybe you need a little bit thicker padding on the saddle, the Ergon's the way to go. All right, next up in the list is our Spank Uzi. Uh, now this saddle is, I think it's a pretty sick saddle here when it comes to trail riding. It's nice and sleek, it's a pretty lightweight saddle. Not gonna break the bankroll when it comes to you know putting a saddle on your bike, but it gives you a lot of comfort. It's got reinforced areas here for when they know like where you're landing, things like that. It's gonna keep you in that saddle longer. It's got a really nice up kick. So if you find yourself out there riding a lot of trails where you're doing a lot of climbing, also doing a lot of descending, this little back part right here, not only is gonna help your low back when you're out there pedaling for long periods of time, but it's gonna give you that nice little power here. It's got chromo rails. It's a 3D full printed upper uh, foam composite on the top. So it's a good amount of comfort, nice little non or nice little friction sides here to keep you so you're not sliding all around. All around great saddle is the Spank Uzi. All right, next up we got here is the Deity Speed Trap. Now this saddle is pretty rad in the sense that it's a collab between Deity and SDG like we've gone over before as being renowned saddle makers. So what it is basically is it's Deity's own EVA foam here on the top 
with SDG's base and saddle technology going on underneath. So you're getting a combination of two very quality brands here. Um, it's got this synthetic top upper here with Kevlar sides for extra durability. So if you find yourself laying your bike on the side a lot or something, you ain't gonna worry about hitting the sides of the saddles and having a rip up or anything. But it's also got this nice D2 edge here for like good pedal efficiency. You're not gonna get a lot of friction when you're moving your legs and out there pedaling a lot. This, this saddle is really designed for if you're out there and you're doing a lot of more gnarlier descents, right? If you're finding yourself doing enduro, downhill, and more all mountain style riding, this is gonna be more likely the saddle for you. And what I mean for that is, is you notice there's not really a big up kick here in the back for pedal efficiency going up hills. Uh, it's more flat, right? So it's designed really to keep you stable when you need to going uphill, but it's not gonna be necessarily so much like we went over with the Spank Uzi, which really is gonna give you that low back support with that really big up kick in the rear for pedal efficiency. So if you find yourself out there, you want to get a little gnarlier, you want a nice solid foam, nice dense Kevlar side for durability, the Deity Speed Trap is probably going to be the saddle for you. Also, they look really sick, a lot of cool colors. So if you're looking to match your bike, cool option there. All right, moving along and taking a little bit step away from the gnarlier previous saddle we went over with the Deity Speed Trap, we're going into the WTB Volt Titanium Edition here. Now, this saddle immediately, I'll just tell you, is not designed for someone really gonna go out there and get super gnarly on their bike. This saddle is more designed for that, you know, trail rider, uh, that cross country rider, even that graveler bike packer uh, that's going out there on their bike. So this saddle right here, you're gonna see it's got a huge up kick for pedal efficiency and then a really nice nose drop for nice control here. So it's really shaped for you to get a lot of movement while still being in the saddle. Not so much, you know, with that dropper all the way down, shredding down the single track. This is more to put like you out there on the saddle for a long period of time, feel comfortable and have a good time. Based on the name, it does have titanium rails. So you're dropping a lot of weight based on those titanium rails here. It's got a microfiber cover and this cover, you know, it's, it's really nice. It's got a nice solid edge here for extra durability. If you're bike packing, you know, you're setting your bike down a lot, et cetera, things like that. Pretty nice. And it's got this flex tuned shell. So when you're riding the bike, it's kind of hard to show here, but it's got a nice flexion here. So you're really gonna feel that comfort based on your body weight and the movement and anatomy of your body and physiology when you're out there on the bike. So if you're looking for that saddle, for that new bike packing rig, or you're riding a little bit of cross country or you know, you know, light trail riding, the WTB Bolt with the titanium rails is just gonna keep that bike light, keep you feeling comfortable and out there having a good time. All right, here we got specialized Phenom. When it comes to saddles, this thing is phenomenally great. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah. Move this man! Anyways, this has been a really big pick here at Jensen. A lot of the riders here love this saddle. They swear by it. They put it through the test. It always performs. So it's got specialized patented body geo uh, design here for great blood flow to those key arteries to keep you in the saddle. You're not going to get numb and have the discomfort. It's got a nice channel here to keep you comfortable as well. Low friction edges, a nice nose drop and an upswing here in the tail for pedal efficiency and control. It also has chromo hollow rails here. So they're able to cut a little bit of that weight out there, but still offer that nice durability and trust the saddle. You happen to come down on it pretty hard. It's also SWAT compatible. So if you ride Specialized and you like a lot of their other products when it comes to SWAT technology, this saddle is gonna be right there meeting all that great stuff as well. It's got the level two padding. So this is more of their medium density when it comes to padding. So it's kind of in the middle. It's not gonna be super hard. It's not gonna be overly padded where you feel like you're just squishing into like a luxury limousine seat. This is more so just gonna keep you pedaling, having a good time and have putting a lot of trust into a great quality saddle. So if that's what you're looking for, the Specialized Phenom is for you. All right, moving on down the list to a saddle I think just looks rad just immediately from the start, which is the Cro-Mag Trailmaster. I mean, dude, look at this. Sick designs, right? If you want sick designs on your saddle, then here you go. Easy choice, but in reality, right? The Cro-Mag Trailmaster is a great all-around seat, I think. It's got a nice flat sitting area, so it doesn't feel like it's putting you into any position and, for position and forcing you to want to move in a certain way. It's more neutral and designed to kind of keep you pedaling. It's got a nice foam here that's real dense here. This is a synthetic leather uh, upper, uh, excuse me, 
Yeah, it is synthetic, it's, but it's seamless. So we're not getting any of that seam there. You're not gonna get any of that rub like I've talked about in previous saddles. When you get a lot of seams on a saddle, that does wear on you over time. So when you're looking for a saddle, make sure there's not a bunch of seams up there because the last thing you want is one little thing rubbing you and irritating you your entire ride. And rather than thinking about which line you're taking, you're thinking about, man, I'm gonna have a blister down between my legs and this sucks, I wanna be done riding. You more so wanna think, I wanna keep pedaling and having a great time with my friends out here on my bike. So this also has that EVA foam, great foam. It's gonna last a long time. Um, nice rail system here, and it's got a lot of room for movement. So if you find yourself, you know, wanting a lot of movement in your saddle, you don't wanna feel like it's keeping you confined, the Cro-Mag Trailmaster is gonna be the one for you. Also some pretty cool uh, color options as well. Customize your bike and get it all looking sleek. All right, now we're moving into a little bit new genre here when it comes to saddle picks, but I kinda wanted to make sure that Choices we selected here may not be your choice, but we wanted to meet a bunch of different demands when it comes to saddles. So moving into something completely away from mountain and all that, we're going into the Brooks saddles. If you've been in the cycling industry for a while, you've probably heard of Brooks saddles. This company has been around for over a hundred years, specifically with these B17s, B19, stuff like that when it comes to these leather uh, saddles here. Now this is the B17 standard. It's equipped with a vegetable leather here. Um, immediately, if you feel this saddle, you're gonna be like, okay, that's probably the weighs as much as a carbon cross country bike. It is very heavy, but with something being around as long as it has, it comes with that sense of durability. It's like a good pair of boots. They're gonna break in over time and be so customized to your anatomy and the way you want a saddle to feel underneath you that you're gonna kind of forget about how much it weighs. Now with these saddles here, they come with a 10 year warranty through Brooks. Brooks is very good about trusting their products and the integrity in which they make them. So if you're looking for a saddle to maybe throw on your gravel bike, if you're still a fixed gear rider, you know what I mean? Or maybe you wanna throw it on you know, a, a mountain bike or something and you don't care about the weight, you're more looking for comfort and that nice molded thing, the Brooks saddle is the way to go. But keep in mind, this thing is like two or three times heavier than most of these other saddles we got going on here. I just think this is a saddle that needs to be talked about. If you've made a saddle for over a hundred years when it comes to cycling, there's something good about it that's going on. So if you're looking for a saddle that you want to mold to you, you don't mind the weight, check out the Brooks B17. All right, now if you thought the Brooks saddle was an outlier compared to what we were talking to, let's get even more outlier here and go the complete opposite direction of 500 plus grams in a saddle and go with some of our 3D printed models. Now, this right here is the Specialized S-Works power mirror saddle things are crazy right this is what technology is bringing us in cycling this is a full 3d printed mirror technology of liquid polymer and a honeycomb system here that is meant to basically mold to you and give you that exact lightweight feeling on your sit bone comfort for those really long rides so if you're a road racer i mean i guess you could probably throw this on a mountain bike and see how it goes but this thing's crazy if you're looking for that all day, perfect comfort in a saddle, price isn't really an option and you realize that like the most important aspect when it comes to riding is being comfortable in your saddle, these 3D printed ones are gonna be the ones for you. So this is a full carbon shell and carbon rail system. I mean, we're talking this thing is, I would estimate here probably 130, 140 grams, but I'm sure we're gonna get some measurements here or some weights here and see how this goes. But I mean, this thing is so soft, but like dense at the same time. I feel like it's like sitting in, in a nice, like uh, big rig seat, you know, it's just meant to just absorb everything you need and keep you riding for a long time. So if you're looking for that absolute utmost comfort, new age technology, check out this S-Works power mirror here, 3D honeycomb technology. All right, last up in the list, continuing on with the 3D printing option, because this I really think is a new technology that's gonna continue to erupt in the cycling world, is the Physic Vento Argo Adaptive. Now this again, as you can see, has that honeycomb look because of the way it's 3D printed here with digital light synth synthesis. It's got zonal cushioning, so you're really gonna feel that where your sit bones are sitting on that saddle, as well as a nice nose drop there for enhanced comfort. It's got that really extra cushiony area here for blood flow and uh, anatomical comfort when you're riding. A decent upkick here for pedal efficiency. 
Again, we're getting that fully carbon shell and carbon rail system, so it's purely lightweight. Now this, you know, ride it on your mountain bike, ride it on your road or your gravel bike, comes with a little bit higher price, but I think it's worth it. When it comes to buying that new technology, there's a reason why it costs that much, and there's a reason why when you're gonna look back, when you're out there riding, and you're like, I'm glad I spent the money because I'm super comfortable, and you're looking over at your buddy who's got numb legs, he's already shifting all on his saddle, and you're still pedaling hard and keeping that efficiency going. So if you're looking for new age technology, maybe the Physic Vento uh, Argo Adaptive is the saddle for you. All right. Let's wrap things up a little bit. Basically unloaded a bunch of different information and saddles here. So if you're looking for an all around saddle, one you can do some trail riding, some downhill, enduro, whatever you wanna do, have a good saddle. Let's go with something like the SDG Bel Air, the Cro-Mag Trailmaster, or even the WTB Volt but this kind of crosses into that gravel cross country, more lighter style riding, but still a great all around saddle to put on your bike. You're gonna have a good time on it. If you're looking for, let's go all the way, all the way over here, traditional hundred years, don't care about weight, you want it to be molded to you. Obviously the B17 Brooks is gonna be that saddle for you. Or if you just want that comfort, you don't care about price, you want new age technology, go with the Physic Vento or uh, the S-Works power mirror here because you're gonna get those here when it comes to that, plus the shedding of weight. If you're someone that rides pretty gnarly, you're looking to get a little rowdy on your bike, uh, I would go with either the Deity or the Spank here. Both of these saddles are gonna keep you, you know, pretty gnarly, they look sick, designed really for that kind of hardcore riding. Now, if you're looking for that, you know, ergonomic, uh, Comfortability, you're looking for, you know, a lot of like design when it comes to feeling comfortable. I would go with like the Ergon or the Specialized Phenom here. You're gonna get both pedal efficiency and a lot of comfort and design for your body, whether it's body geometry or Ergon's known uh, ortho uh, foam here. All around, what you need to do is figure out what the width of your sit bone is, what kind of riding you're doing, what you really desire when it comes to going out and riding your bike and throw that saddle on and get out there and pedal around. Like you're gonna really know, like you put, you know, a 20 mile ride in, you're gonna immediately know whether that saddle is meant to keep you in there or get you to run home and grab another saddle. So we hope this information was really helpful. Uh, leave us a comment down below on which saddle you're currently running. And maybe the next step is you're looking at is getting a new set of grips. Well, check out this other video where we break down our top grips here we have and our top picks for grips here at Jensen USA. And as always, keep pedaling.